Can we talk for a second about Kindle Unlimited? So I know yeah. like to do that, you need to like be exclusive on Kindle as far as the ebook goes, right? Um, and, and also similarly, like, hey, like you bother to put up your book on Barnes and Noble or some of these other places um, or just stick with Amazon because yeah, Barnes and Noble, it's cool. Like, hey, maybe they might put it in a store and then you can go to the store and be like hey cool look my books there on the bookshelf but and that's a maybe yeah. i don't even know how uh, it works. i think it's worth it uh well it depends but i think it's worth trying out you can always cancel kindle unlimited and then go put it up on barnes and noble but here's the thing you're going to sell probably zero books on barnes and noble and you're going to sell 100 percent of your books on amazon anyway even if you try to sell them on barnes and noble mm -hmm. And so I would say do Kindle Unlimited and just focus all your attention on Kindle unless you have a specific strategy that includes Barnes & Noble or Kobo or Apple Books, whatever else. Mm -hmm. But don't just say, well, I want it to be in a lot of places and that's my strategy. So I'm just going to put right. it in a lot of places because that's not a real strategy. With like that Wall Street Journal bestseller, program you have to put your book up on Kobo and Barnes and Noble so I ended up putting it on those things so I'm not running Kindle Unlimited because I ended I did that in the beginning um but if I weren't doing that then yeah I would just put it, be putting it on Kindle Unlimited and I would right. ignore the other retailers and like do you know like do you get just maybe a little bit of royalty just when people actually read the book like I actually download and read the book like how does that work because they're not buying your book specifically they're buying the membership um and so you get just a little bit of royalties when people are actually checking your book out yeah once again the expert on this is that kindlepreneur guy like this yeah is literally his thing um so here's a blog post about that where he goes he goes through all the is KDP Select, Kindle Unlimited, is it worth it? Is the right decision? So read this. Um, he hasn't updated this since October 2022, but that's still, it's less than a year old or it's just a year old. Uh, so this should be pretty up-to-date information. If it weren't up-to-date, he would have updated it. So I would check this out, but um, I would say in your situation, probably it's worth doing the Kindle Unlimited. Yeah. Okay.